So we are back with episode three of the Road to GC and Beyond. I uh, just want to say a quick thanks to all the people that are liking the videos and subscribing. Uh, very much appreciated. But let's not drag this intro out for too long and let's get straight into the games. Right, so we have Krygos and the Salty Snack. I'm going to go for boost. Now just wait back. I just fake this. Now I go for a little aerial. Get a pass over to my teammate. He should. Oh, unlucky. He should have scored, but it's all good. Now rotate back post. Wait for the hit. Go for the block. And then my other teammate should be able to get. He's not there, unfortunately, but. If my teammate had been there, then I would have went downfield ready for a pass. I just faked that and then I put it into safety. I put it into open space. You always want to make sure that you're hitting it away from obviously where the team, the other team are. Uh, wait downfield again. He's a little bit hesitant, so that's something I've just got to keep a note of. Just go for this. I'll go for that back boost here. Teammates should be okay, but obviously I have to try and get back as quick as I can. Because they're going to be low boost as well. Now I just wait on the backboard. Wait for his touch, and then I want to try and get this to Krygos. I was just a little bit too slow there. I should have been a bit quicker, and uh, they should have scored to be fair, but it's all good. We managed to survive. Okay, teammates got this, so I'm going to go for a bump, and he gets the goal. So, something I notice at lower ranks is that you try and cut your teammate off and just try and hit the ball, but you've got to be smarter than that, and you've got to go for a bump there. Try and help your teammate out and give him, give him an uh, easy goal. Try and knock this down to uh, Snake, but he had to grab the boost, which is fine. I'm going to fake this, leave it for my teammate, and then go back. Just by me circling back on the on the wall there. Nice. By me circling back on the wall, it makes the other team think that I'm going to go for it, and it just makes them back off, and then it gives my teammate a lot more time on the ball. I go for boost again. I cheat up sometimes, but my teammate's kickoffs are quite solid. I'm going to try and pass this. I wanted that a little bit further back, but it's okay. I'm just going to go for this because if I wait, like we both get there too late. So when you get those situations, you just have to go. Like you can't think about it too much. You just got to go. And if you double commit, you double commit, you know. But we score and that is all that matters. I'll go for the mid boost. Again, rotate back post, let my teammate go. Okay, they fake each other out, which is good. Now I try and pinch this downfield, chase it, and now I want to try and get this round, get a pass out to Krygos, and he scores, nice. So that little touch I take on the corner just gives me control of the ball, and then it gives me a lot more options, as opposed to just hitting the ball into the side of the wall. So you always want to try and control the ball as much as you can. I mean, my teammates were pretty solid there, to be honest. Like I say, the first thing I had to realise at the beginning was that Snack was a little bit hesitant, you know, and you just have to take mental notes of stuff like that. But on to game two. Well, this guy's still loading in. Okay, so that guy didn't make it in. We've pretty much got the same teams that uh, we would have had last game, but we have Hukyo? Hukyo. Yeah, Hukyo. Here we've got JTN and Hukyo. So I do my dodgy half flip and grab the boost. Now I just want to hit this away. Now I'm going to rotate back. I just want to cut this out because my teammate's obviously struggling to get back to goal. Okay, and I'm dead. I don't want to go for boost there, you know. I want to just try and help my teammate out. I should be able to get this. I just want to help my teammate out by intercepting the ball because otherwise he's going to be in like a, a 1v1 or a 2v1. And uh, that's never a good scenario. Okay, teammate struggling here, so I've got to go. Unfortunately, we get boost. He's going to hit that. So now I just want to hit this round this guy and hopefully put it middle. Now, obviously, I wanted it to go a little bit higher than that, but it's all good. Both teammates are back. Intercept this. Bukio is going to cut forward, which is fine. So I just wait. I'm going to try and... That was a good clear again. All right, now I just want to try and control this. The other team seem very aggressive. Rotate to the back, rotate behind my team, and wait for his touches. 
Oh, what a shot. That's a nice little flip reset. Okay, I think we've got a game on our hands. Let's go. You have to uh, focus up for this game. Get this round to my teammate. Okay, I just want to fake this, make him hit it away. Hopefully my teammate's there. He's not, so I'm just going to hit it to the side. Now wait on the wall. My teammate, no, he's not there, so I'll grab this. I'll let my teammate go as he does have a shot on. Ooh, close. Just try and go for some bumps. Nice, and Hukyo gets it. Top corner, I think. So there I'm just trying to go for bumps because I know my it's going to fall to my teammate. And it gives him the option to take a straight shot. And obviously they have to be wary of me going for bumps. So they're a little bit hesitant to jump. No, I just try and... I was going to fake jump that, but as he went, I just had to hit it over him. Now I want to intercept this, get it out the middle. I don't think my teammate meant to touch that. But it's all good. We are back. Oh, I nearly got bumped off that. You know, we wait back. Both teammates are forward. Just want to make sure that we keep the pressure on because both of my teammates are forward. Oh, nice pass. My teammates do well. So my job there was simply just to keep the pressure on. So I just come in, hit the ball back round. And then back out again, you know, get back to goal because my teammates stayed upfield. So all I have to do then is make sure that our goal is covered uh, in case they hit us on the counter. Now I'll go because it's in a very dangerous situation. So if I sort of wait for my team teammate to go for that, it um, could end up in a goal for them. Now I just get some bumps. Now I'm just being annoying. Just get in their way. I took their boost as well, fortunately. Oh, both my teammates are forward. That's not good. It should be a goal. No, we saved those. Get out of our goal. Now I've got to, I've got to watch now because both my teammates like to go forward. So if they're going to leave our goal open, I've just got to make sure that I'm a little bit more defensive. So there I just back off because I know my teammate's going to go, which is fine. Uh, he, he should go there. Now wait for the passes. Wait for his touch again. Hit this forward. Okay, now I just want to take my time here. Hit it past him. Now get in the way here so he hasn't got a shot. Okay, my teammate took it. Nice. I'll be fast. I can get this. And it's going slightly too far for me. But I will get a hit so they can't hit it. Again, just being annoying. But you see again, both my teammates are forward. But we save these. <laughs> we got this going lockdown. Okay, I want to get that a little bit more forward. Yeah, this, this has been a shaky game, I've got to be honest. With both my teammates going forward like that, it's um, very sketchy at times, but we managed to get there. I don't know how we got them saves, but we did. And we get the win. That was a tough one. Probably the toughest game we've had yet. And do we get a division up? I mean, I think we deserve a division up. Yeah, we do. We get to division four. So now we are one division away from Grand Champ. If you enjoyed the video, then please hit the like button and I'll see you next time.